Hello, it's Izzy and I'm currently a participant on 2017-2018 Congress Bundestag Youth Exchange with a vocational program. Yeah, quite a mouthful. <laughs> um, if you don't know about this program, it's a year abroad in Germany um, where we start with two months in Bonn for German courses and then move on to our permanent host in so to say, and do another section of school within a German high school of some sort and then on to different types of internships based on interest or something that maybe we want to study in the future. Um, it's totally an immersion, cultural, learning the language type of program. So if you're interested, I definitely highly recommend you get more up on in school is considered the dictionary German or standard German, but Germany is very much a dialect country, ranging from completely different types of dialects in the north than they would from the south. And I am currently living in Baden-Württemberg, which is southwest Germany, in a small Dorf Heise Kappel Grafenhausen, therefore definitely living amongst dialect. Um, so in this video I want to show you guys a little bit more about what it's like living amongst dialect and giving you guys a few examples of words and how it differentiates and how challenging it can definitely be. As some people might know, um, Baden-Württemberg used to actually be two different states, one seemingly being Baden, the other being Württemberg, but today it's just one state, um, yet there's still this imaginary border between Baden and Württemberg, so to say, um, and a big contributing factor is dialect. Um, in the north, around the Stuttgart area, called Schwabenland, um, they speak Schwäbisch. Um, and then where I'm living, down in the south, is Badisch. It's, it's really called Alemannisch, but Badisch is kind of like it's like a for the dialect. Um, and because of those differences, it definitely makes a difference in lifestyle and who the people that live there and um, also soccer for sure. Um, if it's not dialect, it's definitely the soccer team. Stuttgart and Freiburg don't get along at all. <laughs> there in my area called Baden, which is just the lower part of Baden-Württemberg, um, the overall dialect is called Badisch, but if you go even further, there's not only the, the dialect Badisch, but then they also have from village to village their own type of dialect. So even though you may learn a few Badisch words within a family, if you could go to another town like five minutes away and they might have a different word for something else. So even though you can try to learn Badisch as an Ausländer, foreigner. Good luck ever trying to like completely master it because there's not only one dialect in a certain region, there's like hundreds. <laughs> so this is my host sister Christina. Hi. True, um, yeah, Badna, which we're gonna show you a few words that would be yeah, first auf Hochdeutsch, and then what it would be in dialect. And then she's gonna say it, how it would, should sound, and then I'm gonna try to also say it auf dialect. dialect. Okay, <laughs> so first of all, the days of the week. We all know these. Auf Hochdeutsch, hoffentlich. But in dialect, es ist... Mandik. Zischtig, Donnerstig, Freitag, Samstag und Sundig. Okay, jetzt probiere ich mal. Mändig, Zischtig, Donnerstig, Freitag, Samstag und Sundig. Sundig. Okay. Next is nicht. In Dialect it is nit oder net. Kommt auf die Person an. Yeah, some say nit and some say net. It also, I think, depends on like this type of sentence. Uh, nit, the net. Ich weiß es nicht. 
Ich weiß es nicht. Nett, 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 nett. Nett. Aber wenn, so, also, so. ich weiß es nicht. Nett. Ja. Ich würde dann nett sagen, ja. oder? Ja, ich weiß es nicht. Und ich habe es nett gelernt. Genau. Also, es kommt immer drauf an. Okay. All depends. Personal preference. <lacht> okay, next is nicht mehr. Nimi. 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 Susi. Next is gehabt. Car. 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 Just car. Um, when I first heard them, they always were ending car, like saying sentences and then putting car on the end. Of Or on the, at the end, and I was like, why do they keep saying car? Like car, like they just like saying car, like a bird. And then finally, like, is car gehabt? Like, yeah. Next is Brezel. 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 Kann das auch nicht auf Hochdeutsch? Um, in einem Dialekt. Brezel. <laughs> Brezel. <laughs> Ja. Yeah. Toll. Next is dabei. In den Dialekt ist dabei. Next is gesagt. In den Dialekt ist gesagt. 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 Ja. Okay. Last one is, ich habe es gehört. And in dialect it is, hab's gehört. <lacht> hab's gehört. Hab's gehört. Das ist das auch auf Fragen. Nee, hast's gehört. Hast's gehört. Hast's gehört? Hast's gehört. Hast's gehört. Hab's gehört. Not easier, but a little bit. Okay, and then also a thing down here, it's not a dialect thing, but it's just kind of a region thing, is that um, we learned in Hochdeutsch that if you have a quarter after or a quarter till, you say viertel nach, acht oder drei viertel nach. Nee, ein, no, you would just say viertel vor dann, nein. But here, Instead of saying, so for example, 8 Uhr 15 or viel nach 8. They don't say viel nach 8. They say viel 9. And so they go to the next hour. You can maybe, du kannst es vielleicht ein bisschen besser auf Deutsch erklären, weil ich verstehe es. I don't, I also don't really understand it very well. I was so confusing. So, please. Du kannst es auch natürlich okay. auf Deutsch. Um, wir sagen Viertel neun, weil schon die Viertelstunde der neunten Stunde vergangen ist. Sobald die acht Uhr Zeit zu Ende ist, beginnt die neunte Stunde. Und um 15 nach ist ein Viertel erreicht und deswegen Viertel neun. Ein Viertel der neunten Stunde. Ah, quarter of the nine hour. hour. Yeah. I still probably won't say it correctly. <laughs> cool. Yeah, those are some words. Um, I mean, if you come down here and visit, you'll hear them easily. If you go into Freiburg, okay, maybe not so strong. The family, but not at school. Yeah, exactly. Even yeah, even with when I was in, in gymnasium, the students didn't really speak it that often, which was super interesting. Um, but for example, like Tiritze Neustadt is a common smaller town to go visit here and there there you would probably hear it right yeah so huh. you can also learn a few <laughs> so a little bit about living amongst dialect um yeah that first week i moved into my host family that was very interesting um if i got along with everyone seemingly well. It was just that language barrier because I had gone from Bonn having had, oh, I've got like a good set of German skills on my back. I'm ready, this and that. And then I move in and I am sitting at the dinner table and 
I am just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. When I was like understanding maybe 10% of what they were saying. <laughs> so yeah, I mean when they spoke to me directly, they spoke in Hochdeutsch, which was super nice that they did that. Um, but as far as actually understanding and being able to know like what's going on in the week in regards to the family, and I just was like, I have no idea. The other challenging part was definitely um, working in the hospital because all of the nurses spoke dialect and basically nothing else. Um, so that w I definitely had to learn very quickly different words in dialect because they would tell me to go do something and I think I would stand there for five seconds having to translate it not only in German but then into guessing what that one German word would be in dialect. Otherwise, it just took time. Um, yeah, it could be frustrating sometimes, but just like learning textbook German, you just have to be patient with it and it will come. And so I've just been having fun with it and using it when I can and recognizing new words um, within my family and then just within the region. And so far, it's been super cool. I mean, I'm super proud to say that I've not only been learning Hochdeutsch, but that I can also say that I know a little bit of dialect as well. So thanks for watching my video. Um, this is my first time ever making a video, so sorry it got a little bit long. But um, I also hope you learned a little bit about dialect and experience it for yourself sometime because it's super cool and it's nothing like learning about it in school. So thanks.